What I'm, what I'm thinking about as you were talking, Maureen, is I'm thinking about health. I mean, because, mm -hmm. you know, this is always sort of my bend, which right. is, you know, how, how an unhealthy, how a power over system makes us all ill, mm -hmm. makes us all kind of psycho, psychodynamically or relationally ill, mm -hmm. and it also makes us physically ill. Absolutely. And, you know, do the means justify the ends or the ends justify the means of, of p telling people, if you are in truly mutual, healthy, supportive relationship and community, it does benefit you. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, so it is a message of, mm -hmm. I'm going to get better. Right. But, but tying the I'm going to get better mm -hmm. inextricably mm -hmm. to community and to healthy community, mm -hmm. into a certain way of uh, relating that's, that's mm -hmm. as you say, mutually, mm -hmm. you know, growth fostering or whatever. And I always get caught between, you know, do you use the, the, the individualism mm -hmm. to lure somebody into the conversation? Right. I mean, and mm -hmm. it's a strategic conversation. It is a strategic conversation, but in some ways a part of the strategy is to help us move out of zero-sum thinking. Mm -hmm. Right. That if uh, I can only get better if you get worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. you know, exactly. when we start to see that we are all inextricably bound, that mm -hmm. uh, you know, what happens to you is very much a part of what is happening to me. And I may not be able to see it now. I may not be able to see how our lives are tied together and how your health is something that I need to be concerned about. Right. For us, mm -hmm. right. and you know, yeah. I, that's we aren't accustomed to thinking in that collective way. Mm -hmm. It really is. I am the person inside my skin, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not I am the person who is connected to you and to people who were born, bef you know, yeah. who are going to be born yeah. and those born before me. And, you know, as we don't have much of a communal sense of self, and we yeah. do think of self. And and I know that I remember reading this late mm. 80s or 90s, mm. and you talked about how caught we were in this notion of a reified self. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. Yep. Self is something distinct and separate from everyone else. Mm -hmm. And how we actually have had the arrogance to uh, call cultures primitive Yes, mm -hmm. when they have another yeah, sense of life. They haven't reached that they stage. They haven't reached to this stage yeah. that of, yeah. you know, yeah. wanting to be a strongly individuated, firmly bounded person who yes. needs no one once they're mature. Yes. Uh, and I think we are, it, it really is about changing the whole paradigm of health. And it's interesting that that kind of paradigm comes out of privilege. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. it's, again, who can, who can afford to look as if they are self-sufficient? That's what I was going to just say that, that, it, that yeah. what part of that picture is, is you make invisible. Right. right. All the important relationships in a person's life and act as if Absolutely. they did it themselves. Absolutely. And really deconstructing that expectation and that image, I would say, is a huge part of what we're trying to do. Yeah. To really say, yeah. Yeah. We grow through and toward relationship throughout the lifespan. If and Jean said this once that if in a relationship one person is growing, both people are growing. That that's really what mutuality is about, mm -hmm. and mutuality means really showing the impact on both people, right, 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 right. and on the community right. and vice versa. Right. So right. it's a huge shift. I mean, it's a huge, it's a huge shift, shift from what we're taught to believe Absolutely. by the culture by by the theories. Well, and to know that, that you know, that we, do, and, and that we don't, um, you know, we're part of that culture too. Absolutely. Yeah. So, we're, Absolutely. so we're, right. you know, we're, we're gu guilty of falling into that, yep. right? And it's, yeah. a, it's sort of inherent to the work that anybody mm -hmm. that sort of tries to move into this kind of a paradigm shift is mm -hmm. going to be caught sort of cross-culturally. Mm -hmm. With your mind spinning, and to mm -hmm. you know, to help everybody. I mean, I, it happens to me personally. I'm sure it happens to mm -hmm. all of us personally. But mm -hmm. it's it's something, it's a moment to moment taking on. Mm -hmm. And what I think of again is the you know the the neuroplasticity. How do we shape communities? How do we shape human beings? Mm -hmm. And you know how how then how do you sort of just open a crack in the thinking? of the power over models long enough for somebody to grab something else that they can play that tape over and 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 over again to make lasting change in 
you know, their impact field or, right. you know, whatever is around them. And, and it, you know, there are times that the task feels daunting, mm -hmm. just daunting, you know. Um, but obviously it's also, you know, we have to have some hope that, that mm -hmm. we can still do it. And it, it always makes me think of the younger you get this message, <laughs> you know, the better, in that I, I firmly believe that part of the social action needs to be uh, really getting this kind of information into, you know, uh, you know daycare centers, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. models uh, of, the nursery. I mean, if you yeah. think about you models know, of parenting, models of parenting. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We still have babies born and put in isolettes. Mm -hmm. Think about that, you know, just as a visual. The fact that that's actually a word. That is a word. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they, yeah, I yeah. That, right. Isolation is a noun, and that mm -hmm. it's a that it's a word that's not even thought twice about. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, but that that is that you know, it's not. There's not the hanging around the, you know, just all of that physical kind mm -hmm. of comfort, mm -hmm. and you know, it's it's such a basic level. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and what we've been doing for years, which I think has been, um, you know, enormously helpful in learning for all of us, but, you know, sort of treating the therapists who will treat the next generation of people who have come through this power over system, right, mm -hmm. and asking them to try to open that crack a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, again, 50 minutes a week when the person's going back out into separation individuation for 144 hour, hours, or yeah. 143, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's daunting.